Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your own font using Calligrapher, as well as how to import it into your favorite creative apps. On that note, watch till the end of the video for a very special surprise. Hope you enjoyed the video. Also, do you like this angle that I'm filming in? I'm trying to go for a couple new shots to kind of keep it new. Welcome to this iPad 5. So yeah, font making is really quite an interesting, fun, creative thing to do. I didn't really know about it before until I randomly once just decided to do it with my cousin. And yeah, I thought you guys might be interested in it, which is why I'm making this video. And there are mainly two ways you can make fonts using Calligrapher, but both are really easy, but I'll be showing you the digital version today as it's much easier to do, in my opinion, rather than printing something, scanning and inserting. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So what you first want to do is type up into and go into the calligrapher website You'll be taken to this kind of page over here. You can see it's really cool and there are reviews over here Yeah, what you want to do is essentially start up and will be taken to first in email area where you just enter in your email and Pass this is what you'll come up to afterwards So as you can see the first step what you need to do is create a template and print it out so while they do say create a template and print it out, as I said before, digital is the way I'll be showing you today. And it's another way of doing the same thing. So let's just press create a template. And as you can see, this is a template I've made earlier. What you do here in the template section is add all the letters and or numbers you want for your font. So as you can see, there's no punctuation over here. Generally, I probably am not going to be using as much punctuation so for the basis of this video i'll be just showing you numbers and letters so as soon as you've done that what you want to do is press over here download template and you'll come up to this area so essentially file name the file format size of template cells and helpline so what you want to do over here is rename your file for this video i'm just going to call it So that's the name of my file at the moment. And you want to either use PFD format or PNG. I'm just going to select PFD. Size of template cells. Generally, the generic one is all right. Then you want to select draw helplines. And then if you want to see characters as backgrounds, you can see what that is. Actually, it will print a character in light gray and you want to click that as that will help you. Then what you want to do is press download. It's processing. Then you go into this file, download template, and as you can see, here is my file. Y and Z are the, on the other side, but generally here's the file. So it's quite nice as it also gives you those background helpline characters we just added in previously. So what you want to do now is you can either download the template into an app. So for example, Notability, you can download and edit the template here. And if we go into more, these are the apps they are allowing me to download into. So sadly, I can't do it into Procreate download wise, but you have another way that you can do it. So I've just reorientated the iPad for better view. And essentially, I learned this cool trick quite a while ago, is if you drag up from the bottom right corner, you can take a screenshot with Apple Pencil. Now what you want to do is, remember, keep these squares, as you can see over here, these four squares, in your screenshot as they are how the app website will be able to recognize your font so as you can see screenshot number one let me just do it for number two okay so those two have been saved so what you want to do is go into procreate so it's just on my home screen over here then what you want to do is photo this will ensure you have the full paper to do your font making so i want to insert both and then i want to import with photo again file number two there we are y and z now essentially start filling in your letters over here and you can use i i'm not sure if you can use other colors but just for safety's sake go with black yeah so now i'll be filling in the letters
so guys, I have made the font. As you can see, it's literally just my handwriting, nothing special. And then here are Y and Z. So the next thing you wanna do is essentially screenshot this again. So now we have page one and page two of my font. Then what you wanna do next is go off the calligrapher template. You've done all of this, go onto my fonts, then upload template and choose files. So photo library, first file here, use, that's one file added, and then your second file, depending on how many letters or numbers you've added. Then as you can see, here is the font that I've made. Looks great, doesn't, doesn't look very messy or anything like that, it looks great. And as you can see over here, it's character preview. So if you're not satisfied with a character, remove it by clicking the trash can. And now what you want to do is build font and name your font. So what I'm going to name my font is AKR and then press build processing. Then here we are. You can do a font preview size. So if you want to see, that's how my font will look. So I did say it's not going to be pixelated or anything. And here you are. It's not very pixelated at all. In fact, it actually doesn't look that bad. It looks quite nice. Next one, you, what you want to press is either TTF or OTF. I haven't found it, but it does much difference. But then you want to download. Now let's move on to how to actually import your fonts. The first thing that I'll show you how to import into is LumaFusion. This is really easy. Just press the font.regular.otf download. Very quick download. Here it is. And it's already for me. If you have LumaFusion, it is most of the time already able to be downloaded. Now you just wanna open font in LumaFusion and your font has been added and AKR regular can be used. Now what I wanna do is I've added this orange background just to show you clearer, but what you wanna do is overlay the title. Then what you wanna do is click this pen icon, click the text and Type in whatever you want. Okay, I don't know, just a kind of funny thing. But now what you wanna do is go into this and select your font. And as you can see, it depends on what letter it is, but AKR is right here. So this is my font. So if I ever wanna use it, it's been inserted into LumaFusion. Okay, so the next app I'll be showing you is Procreate. Enter into Procreate. Click add text, click the wrench, then add text, then these letters, then import font. And then as it's in my recents, I can just go into recent and as you can see, akr.regular in either OTF or TTF. I'm just going to choose TTF. So it's been imported. Let me just type in what I want to type. Okay, then what you want to do is select, then find your font. So as you can see, AKR with A's up here, and that's my font in Procreate. Fonts are quite fun to make, and I'm probably going to experiment with this quite a lot. This is just a simple kind of YouTube tutorial type font that I wanted to show you, but it's great for those neat kind of note-taking thumbnails. So I might use it in the future, you never know. Maybe you'll see it some somewhere in the future but yeah that's the font imported into procreate thank you so much for watching this video hope you learned something new and how to import fonts into your favorite creative apps if you want any more creative style videos like this showing you how to do certain things feel free to leave a comment down below and yeah this is my surprise essentially i'm going to link my font down below in the description so check out for that if it hasn't been linked below don't worry, it will probably be linked below in the next video. But yeah, I'm definitely going to link my font that I made down below. So feel free to download it into any app you want. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, see you next Thursday. And you might be thinking, why next Thursday? Well, on Thursday, I've decided for, as it's the half term, I'm going to be uploading for the next two weeks to vlogs. Because vlogs are quite long overdue. I haven't really done them for a while because of school. So yeah, hope you enjoy. And yeah, see you next time.